Now, that is fantastic. What is that? It's a Lyle's fruit bat. A Lyle's fruit bat. Will he or she sit comfortably there? He will, we hope. Yes, on you go. There we go. Now, bats seem an unusual candidate for seeking out eternal life. It, Why they, bats? They would seem that way, but in nature, there's a hard, fast rule. And in nature, how long you can live for is typically predicted by how big or small you are. Small things, they live very, very fast. Think of a, of a mouse. Yes. Whereas big things live much more slowly. They live in a slower lane. This is always said in terms of the number of heartbeats as well. Is that just a very, is that a very rough... It's a rough, it? so heartbeats again is this rough estimate of metabolic rate. The faster you live, the shorter your lifetime. Okay. However, these magnificent creatures, these beautiful bats, they defeat this rule. Bats are very, very unusual because what they do is they live very, very fast, yet they can live for an extremely long time. So the secret of an extended health span lies within their genome, and that's the work that I look on. We're not advising people to sleep hanging from their feet. No. It's not. No, yeah. no. That's not the thing. Generally within animal cells have a certain amount of time that they can yes. keep regenerating, yes. and then they stop. In each one of our cells, we have uh, all our DNA. And along each length of our chromosomes, you have these repetitive regions, these telomeres, because there's a big problem in how DNA replicates. That every time your cell divides and replicates, your DNA gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So telomeres are at the end of our chromosomes that allow us to deal with all this replication. But what can happen is that there is a theory that cells can only replicate so many times because as the telomere gets shorter and shorter, they get to a critical point and then bam, that cell dies. So again, this is a bit like these heartbeats. How many heartbeats can you actually have over a lifetime? So the question is, do bats have some way of either lengthening these telomeres or, or stopping them, stopping them actually uh, degrading? The oldest caught bat was 42 years of age. It doesn't look particularly happy about it, by the way. Uh, I, think... I loved it. We fed him a mealworm. He was just fine. It's hard to age him because they already look creepy and really old. Uh... Oh. This one's beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. He's very, very lovely, but he is really creepy. Uh, so, with the hanging upside down and the leatheriness of no, the that's association. that's all Bram Stoker's I know, connection. I know, I know. We do forget that. Think okay. secret of everlasting youth, not nasty, blood-sucking vampire. <laughs> okay, Grant. The, uh, you're rebranding the bat as we're going along. Uh, the, but the, so the thing of it is, they may have something genetic now, and we hope to find that yes. and then possibly use it. Yes, that would be the idea. So what is it that they're doing? Is there, as we age, what happens is some of our genes get switched on and switched off. There's an aging-related dysregulation. Do the bats not experience this? So then we need to realise that, well, if they don't experience this, what is it that they're doing that allows them to control the regulation? And then the question is, how would we do this? May I, or would it be inappropriate for me to touch? You the, might want a glove. We, I might want a glove, really. Are they, and, do, they, do they grip? They will grip. OK. Will they hurt? No, not if you're good. Okay. Wow, I didn't know there was an element of judgment on behalf of the bat. And I guess uh, the whole idea will be that if you can try, it's hard to get him off this, he doesn't like to let go, but you want to try and pull him off and get your hand higher. But don't use his hand because he no, might bite. No, I know. Okay. Um, no, he does seem to be resisting this. Uh, quite openly. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Uh, <laughs> very, very well. His little ears! His little ears are going round and round. He can hear things I can't even imagine um, <laughs> at this stage. But a pleasure to have him here. Listen, we're going to talk to you about some other matters in the future, Great. but thank you very, very much for bringing this fabulous animal in uh, as a demonstration. Thank you very much, Professor Emma Teeling.